welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Is our education system too big to change? Assemblyman Kurt Hagman here to talk about um, a bill that he's been talking about with um, officials and trying to change some of the curriculum. A lot of talk about the STEM education, science, technology, um, engineering, and math, but not really a lot of solid change in our uh, high schools, for instance. Correct, and um, we looked at the future jobs in California. One of the top five job growth is our high tech division or IT. And it's computer programming more than like how to use the Microsoft products or Apple products, whatever, but actually the program, the software, you know, pretty much everything we use and work in today has some kind of software behind it, from our apps on our phone to the tractors in the agriculture are all programmed by software. And so the, those institutions are saying, look, we need trained bodies to come hire, and they have a lot of job openings. And not only can they not find it in California, but they're really not finding those educated people within the United States. So they're going outside the country to other countries and importing these um, employees here. So they said, let's can we teach it in high school? So we put together a bill package this year, actually three different bills. Uh, the main one being that we're going to want to teach basic computer programming as a core class in, in high school. Uh, maybe to take place of physics or, or something else or add on to that, but a computer science project. It's a frustrating process to find out that we haven't changed our core classes in California for over 100 years. Um, and so that was a new um, lesson for me to learn and how much resistance it is because we're so big, we got so many different silos of education here and everyone wants to take a look at it. When the bill finally made it out, they want six years to study this to put together a curriculum. And I'm very frustrated because in six years, the computer language will be changing probably two or three times between now and then. So how do you put that in a textbook? you got to have trained people down here to learn that. But that sounds like it is at the very core of the problem of changing the core curriculum because science and technology, it changes so quickly. How do you address that in a bill and yeah. in education? Well, another thing I found out is you can have pretty much a teaching credential on almost any degree besides computer science. You can have it in philosophy, you can have it in you know, physical fitness, all the rest of it, but not computer science. And yet again, that's one of our core things. That's the second bill I did is to allow teachers to have computer science. But it really should be given a box, a direction saying, look, we need to match up the technology being used in our business now and future with the classes we teach in the classroom try to mirror that together. That's not gonna be a bunch of you know 30 year bureaucrats in the Capitol trying to figure that out. That's gonna be modern times doing that. So we should give the, the vision to the local high schools and say this is what we're trying to teach to. This is the parameters we wanna teach within, but not actually spell it out where this is what can be taught first week, second week, third week. It's just a different way of thinking, but that's how business in the real world works, is you have to be that flexible. You are hearing from business and the real world that these jobs are waiting for students when they come out of high school, but they're simply not available but there isn't a lot of wiggle room for educators in high school. There's not a lot of extra time in the day, and you don't want every special interest to be taking over and demanding time in, in the classroom, so that's a difficult thing Correct. to address. And my son just graduated high school. He's a freshman in college right now, and I know all the same classes he took, they, all the AP and honor classes he took, were the same ones I took 30 years ago. We haven't changed in that one generation and multiple generations now to what's really needed. Do we really need to know advanced calculus too? You know, are we using slide rules and doing you know rocket trajectory now, or is it computer science? I mean, we really need to know some of these things, but we're so used to sticking on the same way, versus let's train them toward the real world. What is out there? Is a bill the right way to do it? What about the Board of Education, something well, like that? Well, the bill actually directs the Board of Education to come with the curriculum. So we do have the Department of Education, the Board of Education. We have three different silos mm -hmm. of very high you know, ranking at the stuff at the Capitol, which sucks up a lot of the education resources. I'd rather see that money go down to the local school districts anyway. Well, Assemblyman uh, Kurt Hagman, nice to uh, have you here, and I'm sure we'll be talking more about this and other uh, more local issues in uh, weeks and months to come. Great to be here, Leslie. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.